Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. George here. Second time using this beautiful slab. I get nice 60 bars out of it at two inch. Uh, two inches thick and uh, 6.4 centimeters wide and seven centimeters high. So it's a really good size. It cuts at about 130 to 135 grams. After QR, it'll be around the 120 grams, which is great. So a better value for people that buy my soaps as well. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really just loving this slab. It's just really, really great. Um, this is from Vinny. I'm sure as you've seen in previous video as well, um, the one that's named my soap cutter and my log cutter. So that's all that info is available in the description. So I'm really nervous today because this is a really popular bar called uh, the Almond Bar. I call it the Dawn Blend, and the Dawn Blend is a signature essential oil blend in my range. It's equal parts um, lavender, cedar wood, patchouli, and ylang ylang, and it's really, really beautiful. First time making it in a slab, of course, but the problem with this is that it traces in an instant, so it's going to be it's hard to work with, even in those log molds I used to use. Um, so I am a little anxious, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I'm just waiting for my lime water to cool and my coconut oil to melt. It's just not really low. Once it's melted, I will combine the olive oil, the castor oil and the almond oil, uh, which you'll see me do. Um, so I'm going to be doing things a little bit different from now on. I will just um, start off all my videos in the future me talking instead of doing an introductory slide thing like I usually do. Um, yes, yeah, so I just find it easier to do and I'm getting a little busy sometimes so um, I don't want to spend too much time at the beginning of the video, you know, doing slides and talking and all that. So I thought I'd just be quicker overall just to um, to say what I'm just going to be doing and how what I'm going to be fragrancing it with and my carrier oils as well and of course all the information is in the description and because it does trace quite fast I'm going to do um, most of the batter just a white candle and clay so just a neutral base it'll be like a soft yellow color because of the sweet almond oil and olive oil and then it's going to be a layer of um, blue French clay on top of the neutral colour, the base colour. And then on top again is going to be the purple Brazilian clay. So I find those three together, just with this essential oil combination as well, it just goes together. I don't know why it does, it just does. It's um, really fantastic. This is the lime water currently. And it's still hot, still 68 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to wait for that to come down to 30, 30 to 35 degrees before I combine into my oils. So that's going to be about an hour before that um, cools down. So it should be all fine, just waiting for it. So 72, 73, yeah, so it's going to be a while for that to cool down, which is fine. So I've got plenty of idle time. Um, so yes, I will fast forward after this. So I'll be doing that in future videos as well. After the introduction, I'll just um, jump right into it and speed it up. And then at the end, we'll come to a conclusion or if I have to say anything or how it turned out and any results. So that's how I'm going to be doing my videos from now on. And that's also to help keep the videos as, as short as possible. As you know, the videos I've been doing in the Soap Makers Lounge, they do take up a considerable amount of time. And um, the first video I did on candle making as well, that takes up a considerable amount of time. And um, so with actual soap making videos, like as I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to try and keep them as short as possible. So bear with me with all, all these changes I'm making. Hopefully they 
turn out the way I want them. <laughs> but in terms of videos that are long, I'm really passionate about the stuff that I do and I really want to relay as much knowledge and experience I've gathered over the years. So that's um, the thought process behind um, you know, the, the length of some of my videos and uh, you know, the time it takes obviously to relay, relay that information, it can't be in a really small video and I don't want to split, have multiple videos covering the one topic, or I'll just have a nice one, you know, big video and it cover everything and it'd be a reference to people that may need it in the future. So anyway, enough uh, babbling on, let's make some soap.
Right, so we reached the end of the video. Thanks so much for sticking around. Um, I was actually quite pleased with how these bars turned out because I've always had issues with these bars. They're incredibly hard to make, but I think because maybe it is pretty cold here in Sydney and uh, maybe it did behave a little bit better than what it has in the past, but it definitely still trades fast. I have to really, I have to work really quick, but um, yeah, they turned out beautiful. I'm very happy with the results. Um, it's just such a beautiful essential oil blend, the, the Dawn Blend as I call it. Um, so I highly suggest you give it a try. It's just such a calming, you know, just a floral and woody calming smell. It's just, it's just, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's, it's one of the best sellers in my range, both in candles and in soaps as well. Um, so I just, you know, highly suggest you try it. And let me know how you um, find the aroma as well. Um, it's just beautiful and you just need 0.7%. Um, of each of the essential oils, um, you know, based on your oil amount, very small amount, but because the majority of um, the essential oils that are going in are bases and ha do have quite high flash points. So that's why you don't need um, more than 0.7%. And for Ylang Ylang, you wouldn't go over 0.7 as well because of the dermal limit consideration. If you go above 0.7, you can, it can um, lead to irritation potential. And um, I know for me in particular, it does give my skin it makes my skin itchy if I go above 0, 0 0.7 um, so I, I assume that other people probably would do the same but with Ylang Ylang whether it's in candles or soaps a little goes a long way so I found equal parts 0.7 percent of um, lavender patchouli cedar wood and Ylang Ylang are just just such a magnificent combination right until next time be safe happy soaping bye for now